Hi there and welcome into this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a dynamic experience system. So it's basically going to be create events that can be used to gain experience uh, by using creating certain tasks, killing enemies and things like that. And of course you can use these events in anything to gain experience for your character. So at, as you can see over here, I have set the system so that every time I approach this uh, block, it's going to increase my experience by 20 points. And if it hits uh, 100, it's going to reset my experience back to zero. And I'm going to gain a level. And yeah, just like that. And it's going to be a little bit harder for me to level up now. It's going to be increasing that by 20 points. Just as you can see over here, I have hit 100 points, but I still have not level up because for level two is going to be a little bit more difficult. I need to get once again there. And every time I gain a level, the amount of experience is going to increase as well. So that's mainly what we're going to be creating here. In order to create our experience system, I'm going to be using the third person template, but it doesn't really matter which system you are using. I'm going to only be using this one because it's a little bit easier. Uh, so to do that, let's first go to our BP character. So in my case, since it's the third person, I'm going to go into a third person folder and then blueprint and then BP third person. Over here, the first thing that we need to do is to set our level. So basically you need to have a variable where you're going to be storing how many levels your character have. So I'm going to be creating that now. So this one's going to be, let's say level, level, just like that. And it's going to be an integer, just like that. Compile, save it. And this is what you're going to be using to update the level of your character. The next thing I need to do is to set the experience and the default experience to level up as well. So let's say, let's say by default, I'm going to have a, a variable that's going to be for experience. Let's say um, our current experience. And by default, I'm going to have zero. And then I'm going to have a max experience that's going to be how much experience I should have to be able to level up. And then it's going to be increasing by each level. So I'm going to have to create this variable as well. Let's do it. So let's say max experience. All of this can be integers, no problem with that. And by default, I'm going to be leaving as zero. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is to set how we are going to be able to get more experience. So let's say by activities, by killing enemies or things like that. Uh, to do this, I'm going to be creating an interface so that it's easier and more optimized to communicate. And everything should be given to communicate to this character to give the command to increase the, the experience by a certain amount. So to do that, let's go to our content drawer. I'm going to be leaving that in the interface in the content folder. So just right click, let's go to blueprint and let's create a blueprint interface. And let's name it experience underscore interface. Open this up. Here I'm going to have a function to gain experience like that. And I'm going to have an input that's going to be for amount. The type of the input is going to be an integer, just compile this, save it. Now let's go to our pp third person and in class settings, I am going to go down here and into implemented interfaces, I'm going to get the interface that I have just created, compile, save it. So basically what I want to do is that I want to get this event gain experience and every time I gain a certain amount of experience, I'm going to be increasing that. So let's do that by simply getting our current experience and then I'm going to be adding this amount. Oops, sorry about that. And then I'm going to be adding this amount to our current experience and I'm going to be setting a new value for our current experience. Just like that. Uh, now, how I'm going to be knowing if I had hit a certain threshold for our max experience? You could be checking that on the event tick if you're going to be planning on doing other other types of things to in-game experience, let's say a bonus, item, things like that, and you are not planning to use the same function. 
but I think the best way is to always use this one, leave it this only to gain experience, this event only for experience again, and always use this to increase our experience, and then use a check statement to see if it should go to the next level or not. So I'm going to get our current experience here again to make this check, and I'm going to see if this is greater or equal to our max experience. Uh, I, I forgot I forgot about this, but it should have a default value for max experience. I think I'm going to be leaving this as 100 by default. And if it had, had hit this, I'm going to get a branch. And if this is true, then I should level up. So then I'm going to get our current level. And then I'm going to be setting our current level as well. So I'm going to be adding 1 to this. Just like that, and then I'm going to our next level. Into our next level, I'm going to also be setting our current experience to zero. Just like that. And there is one more thing, is that I should increase our max experience as well, based on our level. I could be multiplying it over here, or I could be adding a more experience uh, to our max experience every time I level up by a certain amount. And I think I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to get our max experience over here to set it. And I'm going to get our max experience. I am going to add, uh, let's say, I think I'm going to be creating another verb for this. That is uh, amount, uh, let's say, experience per level, like that. I'm going to be placing here. So this is the amount that's going to be increased by every level. Uh, let's say by default, let's place this as 20 points of experience, like that. And then I'm going to be setting this new value. Or you could set this logic by multiplying our current level here as well, it's up to you. Uh, I think I'm going to be placing over here. Should be good, should be working fine. But now I need to set to create a system uh, to be able to gain experience. For that, I'm going to be creating an object for testing. Uh, of course, this is something that you could place on enemies, on specific castes and th things like that. But in my case, only for this demonstration, I'm going to be creating a simple object. So just right click, let's get a blueprint class. I'm going to be select an actor, let's say BP uh, object, it's going to be a common object. Open this up, I'm going to be adding a static mesh so that I can see this object. So let's just select a cube, that's good. And so just that I can see this in the world. And I'm going to be adding a collision box as well. Add this to all the fonts and root, attach it there. Let's increase this a bit. Actually, I'm going to be scaling it. Let's say it by five, five and five. Yeah, that's good. You could use a sphere as well, it's up to you. It's only for testing. Compile it is, save it. Now I am going to be placing that in the word like that. And now in our BP object, in our class settings, everything that's going to be communicating to gain some kind of experience needs to have this interface. So I'm going to be adding this interface over here, get experience interface. And basically what I'm going to be doing is that, let me get a bit of space over here. I'm going to be selecting our box, not the cube. I'm going to select the box collision. And I'm going to get uh, on begin overlap. Like that. And what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to get the event gain experience. And it's not, not going to be any of those. I'm going to get uh, the message. So for that, disable context sensitive. Get the message over here. Let's enable context sensitive again. The target is going to be the other actor for this case. Of course, since this is the character, you could simply get a simple reference for your character in other cases. So let's say just get player character or something like that. The amount, let's say, uh, let's create a new verb over here. Let's say just experience. And this is going to be an integer. It's basically going to be the amount of experience to give. Let's say, uh, let's say 20 points of experience, something like that. Place it over here, now into here, and yeah, that should be good. Uh, so now it's going to make every time I overlap with the box collision, 
I am going to be calling this interface event with the target for the other actor and I'm going to be giving a certain amount of experience and then should be receiving over here I think I'm going to be making a print statement only for testing so yeah only for testing for this case I'm going to be making a print statement so over here let's just print a string and then I'm going to be printing our current experience over here and on the event tick, I acted not on the event tick, I'm going to, if we level up, I'm going to be printing that as well. So let's say get a print string here as well, get another print string, place it over here, and then print our current level. Just like that. Compile it, save it. Now let's go to our word. So I am going to gain a certain amount of experience. You can see on the left top corner. Every time I get into here, and if it hits 100 points, I am going to go by default to zero, and I'm going to increase our level. So level one, 100 points of experience, and if I go back, I should have 20 points now. As you can see, it's working fine. I think only for the demonstration, I'm going to be quickly creating a widget for this, only so that you can see the changes. So let's do that now. Um, Let's get a uh, user widget. Uh, let's get which blueprint user widget. This one's going to be our let's say y underscore level. Open this up. Let's get a canvas panel. Place it over here. Let's get a text. So let's just get common text over here. And actually, I'm going to have a box. I am going to have a horizontal box and I'm going to be placing that text over there and I'm going to place another one uh, actually not a horizontal box, sorry about that it's going to be a vertical box place it there, get a piece of text place inside the vertical box pop this, place it again so this one is going to be for our level uh, I'm actually not going to be saying level, just leave it as level, I'm not going to be, uh, take too much time with that. But basically I'm going to just rename it as here, so text underscore level is going to be a variable, is going to be to fill and actually not, I'm going to be set a specific value, horizontal alignment, vertical alignment, justification to the middle. Uh, the vertical box also should have the anchor on the middle, actually on the top down. No, I know what on the left corner that's good. And size content, and yeah, that's good. Now, text level, and we also have text experience. And let me just, I think I'm going to be leaving this as few and this as few as well, so that I can increase the size of the vertical box. Yeah, it is size back to content, so let me just be able to increase it a bit. So, uh, I'm going to be removing the text and just like that. Now uh, I have this text experience. I think it, everything is blank by default. I need to get uh, now be able to update this. So I'm going to be creating a common function over here. Uh, so let's actually it's going to be two. Let's just create that. This is to update level and then another one to update text. Experience. They should have an input, so it's going to be this one for experience, should be an integer, and this one is to update level, so it should be level, like that. Now I'm going to just be getting the text, yeah, I, I don't think I have made it this one as variable as well, so make it as a variable, you get the text experience over here, and then get set text like that and the text is going to be this new amount just like so place it down here and the same thing I'm going to be doing into our text level our update level so just get our text so this is our update level yeah so just get our text level set text like so to our new level have I got the right one over there? I am not sure. Let me just check it really quickly. Yeah, I got the right one. I'll compile it, save it. 
Now in our MVP third person, I'm going to be creating that widget on the event begin play. So this one over here. So I'm going to just be create widget. I'm going to be promoting this to a variable. So let's just promote it to our, let's say, Y level like that. And then I'm going to be adding this to viewport like so. Let's get our widget there with the selected place it over here, compile it, save it. Now, in order to be able to update this, I'm going to be create another custom event inside our BP third person character. So just get custom event. Let's say update Y level like that. And in this custom event, I'm going to be calling those events from there, those functions that is to update our experience, our level and our experience. So should do that. Right click, disable contact sensitive and get update level. And then also get update experience. And let's place it here. Let's place it here as well. Actually, this Y level, let's change the type to our Y level here. Level like so, object reference, change variable type. Yeah. Just like that. Now place it over here and then here. Then get our current amount of experience. Place it here, current experience. And then actually this is for level, sorry about that. This is for level, get our level here. And the experience should be here. Just like so. So now I should be able to update. Uh, let me take a look. Yeah, every ah uh, yeah, I need to set that event, that function. So instead of having this print string, I'm going to be removing that, and I'm going to just get update y level. So just get context sensitive back, and then update y level. Target self, no need to change that, and I'm going to be calling that function here. And once I have level up as well, so here as well to update the level, like so. Compile it, save it. Let me see if everything should everything should be fine. Uh, yeah, just the justification here to the middle, uh, vertical alignment, and yeah, that should be good. Compile it, save it. Now let's take a look. By default, I'm not going to be seeing anything because I don't have any text by default. But now I have level zero and 20 points of experience. I am able to gain more experience just like that and then increase my level and reset my experience. So that's mainly it for this system. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this will be of some kind of help in your next game. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll into this course to get all sorts of files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.